back. Yes, it's accurate. And speaking of accurate, Lily just pointed out to me during the break that if you add the two scores at the moment, Peter on 26, Rolly on 31 together, what do you get? 57. <laughs> it's coming up all the time. Let's go to our next letter game now. And it is your turn, Peter, to make a selection, please. Lily, can I please have a consonant? You can. Thank you, Peter. N. Can I have a vowel? I. Another vowel, thanks. O. A consonant. F. Another consonant. S. Another consonant. H. A vowel, thanks. A. Another vowel. I. And a consonant, thanks. And lastly, S. And here's the clock. Last word for you. Pretty poor four there. Oh dear. What about you, Rolly? Uh, eight, Richard. Well, double the four, but let's have your four first, Peter. Fish. And your eight? Fashions. Fashions. Very nice one, David. Well, we've talked about Paisley, we've talked about Manchester, and along comes Rolly with fashions. A lovely eight. Congratulations, Rolly. Uh, the best to be found. And uh, a really a tricky mix, but fashions just jumped out. A beauty. So, eight very strong points for Rolly. And we are moving now into our final number game for tonight. Rolly, your turn to make a selection. What would you like this time? Thanks, Richard. Um, Lily, may I please have five small numbers and one large number? Five small and one large. Thank you, Rolly. And our numbers are eight, ten, nine, seven and one. And our large number is 75. And the target to reach... 652. 30 seconds to get there. Interesting choice with so many small numbers there. How did it go for you? Uh, not that well, I'm afraid, Richard. Um, the six away, unfortunately, 658. 658. Peter, how did you go? I got 656, Richard. So you are a little closer. Take us through your method, if you would, please. Really? 9 times 75 equals 675? 9 by 75 is 675. Less 10 it gives you 665? Less 10 is 665. Less 8 gives you 657. Less 8 is 657. Less 1 gives you 656. Less 1, 656. Six. So, well done, Peter. Uh, just four off the target. Lily, did you work your way through to the precise target? I sure did. Worked all the way through. <laughs> all right. Take us on that journey with you, please. All righty. Um, now, 75 minus 9 gives you 66. Um, 66 by 10 gives you 660. And 660 minus 8 is 652. Straight to the destination. Well done, Lily. It's seven points to Peter. That means he is on 33. Rolly is on 39. Only six points the difference. Well, we're at the final round of tonight's competition. And once again, we are absolutely down to the wire. Because there are ten points at stake coming up in the conundrum. And as it was last night... It will be the decider. So, time to reveal the conundrum. And the time starts now. Peter, there was plenty of suspense in that one. What do you think? 
uh, sceneries. An incorrect answer from you, Peter. So I'm going to repress the buzzer. And Rolly, you have the remaining time. But Rolly, unfortunately, time has run out on you. Let's have a look at the conundrum solution. Necessary. That was the word we needed. Absolutely needed. So, uh, unfortunately, no solution from our contestants, but with those scores as they are, it means that Rolly is our winner tonight. But, Peter, thank you very much for uh, a great game tonight and, of course, last night as well. It's been terrific to have you as our carryover champion. A Macquarie Dictionary 5th edition is uh, something we'd love to give you, so thank you for being with us. Thank you, Richard. And Rolly, we look forward to seeing you tomorrow night as our uh, carryover champion then. Thanks, Richard. Look forward to coming back. Well, David, we've had all sorts of interesting words tonight, but um, we enjoyed that word pre, didn't we? I actually had a little bit of a, a pre pre pair. Uh, anticipating your question, looking at the pre's, and in fact I found uh, to pre-sell, uh, to pre-heat, uh, to pre-pay, to uh, pre-book, to pre-book and to pre-print, but I think the most ridiculous one that's sitting here is uh, to pre-release. Uh, to release before its scheduled date. But uh, next thing you know, I have a, a re pre re release. Too many pre, but you can never have too many 57s, can never. you, Lily? It was our 57th episode, and yeah. we did have quite a few sightings, didn't we, Lily? We had many sightings, and I had a lovely 57th episode. <laughs> we look forward to the 58th episode. We'll yeah. see you tomorrow night. See Thanks, you. Lily. And thank you for watching. We hope you scored well tonight at home. Join us tomorrow as we do it all again here on Letters and Numbers. Good night.